half a daily. It's pretty much the only time you get to ride this place is early mornings. Because <laughs> of the amount of kids that come here and just use that basketball court. So yeah, we'll get a uh, few jibs on the rail and then um, move on I guess. Yo. <laughs> this is pretty much my everyday thing. Back up north, just to ride skate parks every afternoon after work. Literally. Pretty good little crew there as well. Just progress a little bit, but didn't do too many tricks really. Alright. It's um let's warm up a bit more. Go for a Smith. Maybe not. <laughs> right, so I'll go Smith and then dubs the rail. Oh, come off a bit too. Crooked won't make the rail. <laughs> We'll make it easier. Go feebles. And then dubs it out. Sticky. Yeah, so last time I was here, I went feeble top ledge on and then one edge off this and somehow landed it. Alright let's try this. Oh, I actually got it. Pretty random. Hell yeah, that's really good. Hell yeah, let's get out of here, move on to the next park. Moving on to Westbrook skating. So just in case anyone who watches this doesn't know, I live in Toowoomba. That skate park I was just at is Hodgson Vale, and it's a brand new skate park pretty much. It's still pretty slippery and whatnot, but it's a fun park. It's only got, you know, small stuff. There's not really any street rails like that here or ledges that are that nice. So that's probably the best skate park in Toowoomba to ride if you like doing street stuff like me. So I'm gonna move on to Westbrook. You've seen Westbrook on the channel a few times. And yeah, it's just a little four foot, five foot skatey, a couple little uh, transitions and whatnot. So yeah, let's go. This is pretty much how I cart my bike around. My um, mountain bike used to have a rack full and it actually snapped the other day but it was just one of those shitty boot racks where the fuck they are so um, yeah it lives in the back seat now whenever we go anywhere even local which is probably 
best idea for it anyway. So yeah, Westbrook. <coughs> so yeah, while filming this, 6 a.m. Saturday, just ticked over the thousand subs, which is unreal. So yeah, put together a showcase video pretty much all the big stuff from most of the filming see I lost I lost my hard drive with about five months of footage on it in September I'm pretty sure so everything that was filmed like the first cotton video um, Mount Joyce video where we did the war ride and stuff and there's a few others quite a lot of stuff actually yeah it was all it's all gone so it's on YouTube but you can't download YouTube videos in like high high quality so yeah but at least I have all the boomers stuff which I'm pretty proud about so yeah anyway come here because I want to foot jam that quarter there to this quarter I want to do it three times basically because try and get it back to consistent one oh wow that was really steep <laughs> you can go and see the GoPro too no, let's try this oh, it's in a bad spot <laughs> so close, so close. Damn. I reckon coming here, you get pretty good bike skill practice. But I don't know how many spine jumps there are on a trail. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> and he just got that. <laughs> Let's get you all around. All right. What I want to try here is a foot jam fakie. I used to do them so often. I could do them in pretty big quarters, but they're still scary. The reason they're scary to me is because I went from cassette, which I'm on right now, and I had a coaster. Coaster for literally years. And you do a foot jam fakie on a coaster, and sometimes it'd grip up, as in the coaster would engage when you're faking, or after you come off the foot jam and you just yeah, you just hit that block and you fall back. It'd be pretty scary, but... Now that I'm back on cassette for a little bit of time, let's see if we can get them. Right, I put down the fake on this quarter. Second go, let's go. Yo, <laughs> Wow. Well, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah, so good. Really surprised I made that. All right, I want to do a kind of like a crooked disaster type thing to 270 in, I guess. Let's see what it looks like. Right, this one. What the fuck? Why am I taking my foot off?
cool. See, I actually try it and I land perfect. Like, <laughs> next thing I want to try, there's a quarter pipe here. And essentially, I want to try and come out 360 out of it onto the grass. So, like, go that direction. But yeah, come out here, swoop off 360 to grass. This will probably take a lot of confidence. Oh, oh, that's not too bad. I thought there was more of a lip there. Alright. I reckon I can do it. Oh, <laughs> All right, that was scary, but I'll go faster this time, actually try and clear the grass. Oh. See, as long as you get that initial attempt out, you got like an 80% more chance of doing it again. Like, same with you guys in mountain bikes, with your gaps and your drops. You're not going to know if you can do it, but you're not going to know if you have the confidence to do these things unless you actually try it like I'd say roll into that it looks probably doesn't look scary or anything but it's definitely scary because it's been a long time and um my confidence was pretty low with that but I knew I could do it because I've done things similar so I just had to try it and look it worked out fine even if I crashed there's not much area there anyway but I'm going to try and go quick this time and make the grass Oh yeah, that's so good. I think I barely cleared the concrete. But oh, I'm beyond soak with that, hell yeah. So yeah. Not really a mountain bike video this week. The uh, stage two of the Superflow at Mount Buller will be up and um, yeah some awesome trails in that but pretty much I don't have a bike till Monday because uh, it needed new bearings as you would have heard in my videos it sounds horrendous so I finally took it in and um, got that sorted and it definitely needed new bearings and they're not going to be here till Monday because we have a public holiday yesterday Friday Toowoomba show day and um, yeah should have it back Monday I plan to do the Marita 24 at Hidden Vale but I'm going to do the four hour race with um, Aiden Bicycle Cures he's going there and Dan I'm pretty sure and um, yeah so stay tuned for that that should be tough because I haven't really had much training or cardio training in the last fucking ages but um yeah hope you like this video anyway guys and progress daily that's what you gotta do progress daily ride your bike every day and i'll see you next time peace